Uh oh! Oh no! It's the pale horse followed by Hades. I'm Lisa for W2 Lisa Tarot. I'm a ridiculous person who gets messages through songs, uh, through songs in many other ways. So if one ear butt in, one ear butt out. Like, share, subscribe, and follow. I'm gonna set a fire instead of follow. Well, it's a very just heavy war vibe, a spiritual warfare vibe that is. Uh, like, share, subscribe, follow, drop a tip, cash it, WTF Lisa Tarot, show my stores, WTF Lisa eBay, and WTF Lisa Tarot, that's come, all hell's breaking loose, baby, it has been, but now people are gonna realize it soon, why, because when it escalates, you start to notice shit more, I have painted black by Job, it's a cover of the Rolling Stones song, both are awesome, but for whatever reason, the punk rock version by Job, like the man of the Bible, some people spell it, they say it as Job, or gob. It's Job. It's spelled weird. I don't know why. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. No colors anymore. I want them to turn black. You know what's so weird? Is I was, wa I was working last night. And I was walking by these doors. And I was looking at them. And I thought they should paint the numbers black. So you could see them <laughs> better. They're painted almost the same color as the wall. And then you're like. This is unnecessarily hard. We didn't just paint the numbers a different color. So you can see it. Otherwise I put them there. Paint it black. Like a newborn baby. So it's this energy of not seeing the numbers up. I feel inside myself and see my heart is black. I see my red door and I swap the dragon wagons here, baby. Uh, and here's Hades. We're driving it. And I'd have launched the chariot. Yeah, normally I'd be like, it's a cancer and a fire sign. Oh, fucking weird. But that's not the vibe. So I'm not going to say that. It's over for someone. Dragon wagon is coming for you, ding you. I could not foresee this thing happening to you, except you can, and I am foreseeing it, and anyone, honestly, you don't even have to be a reader to foresee this shit, if you, you know, it's that same vibe, you know, a uh, uh, grubby little meth head, are you surprised when they overdose or go to prison for meth? No, why? Because they do meth. If you know someone who's a repeat drunk driver, and they get in a drunk driving accident, you aren't surprised, because they are always getting a drunk driving accident. It's like, it's right in front of your face, but you're not getting it, is the vibe, though. And some people never put this shit together. It's so dumb. My friend is a chronic drunk driver, but I'm gonna let them drive tonight. Because they're my friend. I don't want to hurt their feelings. I'd rather die in a car accident than hurt a drunk driver, a repeat drunk driver's feelings. No, baby. Uh-uh. And it's that vibe that some people may not like the truth. Oh, my God! Now I know why I was talking about Ryan O'Neal. <laughs> He is an actor. Uh, I think his heyday was the 70s. And then he faded into obscurity, leached off uh, Fair Fawcett's fame. And just threw out there that he acted in the 70s a couple times and his kid got famous. Dude was a giant piece of shit. He just died recently. Uh, I'm sorry if this offends anyone. I don't care, though. Giant piece of shit. Because what I'm about to say, I don't care if it changes your mind. I know he's done worse than what I know, but this is what I know. Uh, the way the man treated his children was abhorrent. You know, we're not all perfect, but Jesus fucking Christ, man. This guy knocked out his 14-year-old son's teeth. I don't know over what, but I can't think of any reason to do that. I mean, other than a fucking weird accident you can't control. Send the pain below by Chevelle just started in my ear. Knocked out a 14-year-old son's teeth. Uh, his daughter Tatum O'Neill became an actress. She won an Oscar. But this poor girl, when she was a teenager, he got her addicted to cocaine because, so she could lose weight. That's what he told her. And, and beat the shit out of her. There's reports of that. So there's two kids beaten. But wait, it gets better. So Fair Fawcett is ex. This woman, her 60th fucking birthday party. Woman's got cancer. It's her 60th birthday party. They have a son together. That piece of shit shoots a gun at their son. At her 60th birthday party while she's dealing with cancer. I'm sorry. Fuck that guy. I'm looking. I go online. Let's people are like, oh, Ryan O'Neill was such a blessing. The fuck he was. What about his fucking children? Fuck that guy.
I'm sorry. I don't care that he's dead. The truth is the truth. I send the pain below. Ace of Swords, Judgment. I saw the Ace of Swords first because I cheated and had the deck sitting. <laughs> it's funny because I grabbed Judgment, but I saw Ace of Swords. I just saw Judgment and the truth. Much like suffocating. Let's love that Ryan O'Neill signed because I get so many death readings for abusive pricks and then he died. And I'm sorry. I'm not happy someone died. I will never say. I mean, I'm not sad. I have one less abusive prick is not a loss, but I'm not excited. He's a Taurus. I had Taurus up in my reads a bit ago, but I don't know that I pegged him. <laughs> I bet he was a Peggy Sue like most abusive pricks tend to be. Everything's backwards here. But no, well, this is that same vibe, that same type of guy. Same type of guy. Why do they need to go down? We're over it. The world temperance, all signs. I already forgot what I was talking about. But it's the same type of joy, death or hell for abuse of pricks. And then people are going to be like, Ace, I was such a good man, but Page of Wands, Five of Swords, the fuck he was. Page of uh, Swords, Ace of Wands. The fuck he was. He was not a good man. Ask his children. Ask his, anybody who probably was in a romantic situation. Anyone who worked with him. Dude didn't really work since the 70s. You think there's a reason for that? And then you're over there like, he was such a good man. The fuck he was. What land do you live in? That is so great. You want to play pretend, but that ain't how it is. So some people want to see the truth and some people want to live in the bubble and that's fine. They're either going to have their bubble burst or you just got to stay away from each other because uh, who wants to be in the bubble? Six of cups, five of coins. That is so great. You're, the past is the past where they're ace of, you want to sugarcoat it or not, but king of swords, the truth is the truth. You want to live in your delusional bubble? That's fucking great. Three of coins, nine of coins, page of, it's gonna just get you dead or in jail your stupid bubble won't you burst the bubble and be real but some people just can't no he died so we have to pretend he was good no we fucking do not his kids are still alive how about we care about them the ones who got their teeth knocked out the one who got beaten and told to lose weight here's some cocaine the little girl let me exploit your talent and pump you full of drugs. Let me shoot at my fucking son at a woman's birthday party who I had already put through hell and she's going through cancer. Let's just, it's like his presence always made shit worse. And a lot of you have dealt with these types. It's, you gotta go. Caveman dinosaurs, you gotta go. Hangman, three of swords, you gotta go. Caveman extinction is the vibe, but they're they're doing it to themselves. 